Hey guys, what's going on? And just before I jump into this uh, round two of exciting players, I do just want to let you know if you fancy any coins, check out GameGoldTrader.com and use CalFreezy at checkout. You will grab yourself 5% off and co coins right now are really cheap, so it's worth picking a few up. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye. Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to some more FIFA 15 exciting players. Just before I get onto this video, I do want to say a huge thank you to everyone who uh, showed support on the last one. You guys seem to really enjoy it. I appreciate your tweets, your comments, and uh, I've done exactly the same for today's video. I've added some of the exciting players you guys are ready to see in this round. And uh, yeah, first up, we have our man Quadrado. Now, uh, the man himself, Luke Mul. God damn, that's that's a tough last name you got there. He says Quadrado. He will have five star skills, which by the way, I believe it's been updated in seasons, but I don't think it's been updated into Ultimate Team. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's the case. He says he's got amazing dribbling, blistering pace, good finishing, and pinpoint crossing and some solid defending. Will be amazing anywhere on the right, especially with the am amazing Colombian attackers. So he's thinking you can combine it with Falcao, Jackson Martinez, things like that. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't surprise me me if he got an upgrade and possibly if he was transferred now what i'm basing is this this all off of is the fact his world cup performance has been amazing and world cup performances can really determine whether a player is going to get a transfer or not a lot of clubs are obviously watching the world cup and uh, a lot of transfers do happen on the end of it so um it could be possible that he gets transferred i have no idea where i haven't heard any rumors or anything like that but it would be fantastic because i would love to see him at uh, a slightly bigger club i think he's definitely got the quality and uh, I'm definitely expecting some form of, a form of an upgrade, not necessarily a big one, possibly an 83, 84, something like that. But, uh, you know, Luke is absolutely right. Um, the five-star skills would be amazing to have in. And there's no doubt about it. This guy is so, so fast on the pitch. So that's going to wrap it up for our very first exciting player. Let's move on to the next one. Next up on the exciting player list is, in fact, your man Draxler. Now, um, Dylan Gary there, or Garay, says, I'm really excited to see how EA will upgrade Julian Draxler. He's probably going to be a beast in FIFA 15 as well. And I have to agree with you on that, you know. His current card is an 80-rated non-rare card, and he goes for absolute peanuts. Seriously, you can pick him up for almost nothing. And honestly, he is so much better than that, and I think you can expect to see an upgrade on him. Now, what, like I said, his normal card is 80. I kind of did my own little thing here and just upgraded his overall. I didn't touch any of his uh, stats beneath, um, just so you guys are aware of that, um, in case you guys get slightly confused. But yeah, this guy is really good on FIFA already as it is, and you could just imagine, if he gets the upgrade, he is going to be even better. He's a German player. You're going to fit him in nicely with plenty of other German uh, players on this game, because let's be honest, right now the Bundesliga sides are extremely powerful. They're great to play with, and uh, if this guy gets an upgrade, he could be a serious challenger for the camp position. And uh, right now, even his non rare card is just fantastic to use so uh yeah Draxler is one of my most exciting players for FIFA 15 let's see who else we got on the list now, Big Fabregas here, he was one of the most requested players from last video. He was like, Cal, you've done Diego Costa, you did Courtois, where is Fabregas? He signed for Chelsea, and here he is, as you can see, um, this lad here, Fabregas, because he will be at Chelsea, and that's what, something I'm really excited to see. Chelsea have got some quality midfielders. I absolutely love watching Oscar play, and now that he's got Fabregas, Matic in there as well. I mean, of course, he's got the, oh, actually, I don't know if Lampard, I don't think Lampard will be playing next season, which is a real shame, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, Fabregas, he, he's slightly older than the rest of them, but uh, he will be really, really fun to watch. Of course, they got the likes of Ramirez, and uh, I think it's a quality signing for Chelsea, and uh, I can imagine Arsenal fans are not too happy with that, but I'm sure uh, any FIFA BPL fans, they'll be glad they'll be able to use Fabregas in their BPL squads, because I know you're all sweaty little bastards out there. So, uh, yeah, excited to see uh, Chelsea, uh, sorry, Ch yeah, well, Chelsea pick up Fabregas, and uh, I'll be able to use him in my BPL squads. Next up, we have this Costa Rican monster. There is no doubt about it, guys. This guy has been running the show with Brian Ruiz for uh, Costa Rica. I mean, anyone who's been watching his games, he has been absolutely just it's so much fun to watch more than anything. It's been exciting and refreshing to see a player like this come through and play so very well. He plays forward, of course, um, for Costa Rica. And uh, I have to admit, though, while um, you know he seems to be getting a lot of uh, fans and things like that for his World Cup performances, there are are certainly a few fans uh, or, or a few people that dislike him and uh, they tend to be from the US because he did 
do just just an absolutely filthy dive against them. I'm sure if you type in Joel Campbell dive versus US or something like that, he will come up. It really wasn't pleasant to watch at all. Um, so yeah, he's definitely got a few uh, people that don't like him from that, but there's no way you can doubt his performances for Costa Rica so far in this World Cup. He has been really fun to watch, like I said. And GRS Football says Joel Campbell cheap OP gold BPL slash striker next year for his World Cup performance. And uh, to any of you guys that don't know, he's actually an Arsenal player. He's just been loaned out an absolute ton. And uh, by the looks of it, it seems to have worked out pretty well. Um, he's been loaned out to... Um I believe it is uh, Le uh, Lorient, sorry, Real Betis, and also Olympiacos at the moment. So those are the people he's been playing for, and maybe he'll come back to Arsenal next season. I'm not entirely sure what the plan is, but uh, Arsenal fans, let me know. Would you like to see him at your club uh, next season, or at least playing football, maybe on the bench, coming in? You know, he looks to be playing really well, and it has to be said, I think he'd have a little bit more impact than how Giroud has been playing recently, but uh, I'm not an Arsenal fan. That's for you guys to decide. Let me know down below, and uh, to talk talk a little bit about his rating and why I think he's an exciting player for next um, FIFA is because I don't think he's going to get a massive upgrade. Um, and I'm kind of happy for that. Um, one of those reasons is that um, as a 74 rare silver, his price will be worth more than, his, uh, than if he was like a 75, 76 rated uh, non gold, uh, sorry, a non rare gold. So in that sense, it's quite nice that he might stay a 74 um, rare silver. But to be honest, with you with the World Cup performance he's having at the moment he could very well get an upgrade and also if he does go back to Arsenal as bad as it sounds when uh, players go back or uh, go to a bigger club a club like Arsenal moving from Olympiacos to Arsenal they tend to give them upgrades and I know that might be wrong of them to do uh, it is the way they tend to tend to do their upgrading so uh, yeah you might see this guy getting an upgrade but I'd be pretty happy if he didn't because as a non uh, as a rare silver I think he's worth quite a bit more and uh, he looks really good for a silver team so uh, that's going to wrap it up for our man, Joel Campbell. Last but not least, guys, we have got Adam Lallana, who looks to be on the, uh, just on the brink of signing for Liverpool at the moment. Retro Pigs on Twitter says Liverpool version of Lallana. I swapped over his badge. I haven't given him any upgrades or anything like that. I'm not too sure if he will, but we do know EA tend to be a little biased towards Liverpool. So it wouldn't surprise me if you see Lallana next season as maybe an 81-82 rated uh, rare gold player. That just tends to be what EA will do, and it wouldn't surprise me if that was very much the case. And and uh, yeah, this is one of the most popular uh, requests actually for me to uh, kind of cover was the Liverpool Alana. Uh, he looks like he could be signing for around 25 million. That's a lot of money, but English players tend to be a little bit overpriced. And uh, that's certainly the case with Lalana. He has had a fantastic season last season. Um, of course, Shaw recently went to uh, Manchester United. So right now, uh, Southampton are literally just bathing in money. They are loving it right now. And uh, yeah, this looks like it would be a great card. Uh, there's some really interesting players over at Liverpool right now and uh, some that can really expect some upgrades like the storage Sterling should be interesting as well let me know if you'd like to see me cover Sterling in the next round of exciting players I am interested to see um, if you guys would like to uh, hear me talk a little bit about that because there definitely are a few Liverpool players in there um, that could be uh, could be fun to play with next season or next FIFA sorry so I uh, hope you guys did all enjoy this video and if you did make sure you leave a like down below let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes again I really appreciate all your support on these FIFA 15 exciting player videos and uh, I hope to see you guys tomorrow. I should be uploading a video, a video tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.